But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt do, thou shalt not do any work. So within keeping it holy, he commands us not to do any work. That day we are supposed to not work for hire at all. That's the Lord's day. So give me no cooking. So we're not supposed to work, that's first of all. And he also told us to remember it. He said it's a high holy day to God. That is the covenant that he made with us. Did he make it with everybody? That's a, that's a, that's a good question. I want to show you the day we actually supposed to actually worship God on. Give me Sirach chapter 33 verse 7. And I want to show you this out the Bible. It's on Saturday, exactly. But we haven't been taught that. We went to church all those years. I grew up going to church on Sunday. We all went to go to, we all grew up going to church on Sunday. Saturday is Sabbath. But Saturday is the Sabbath, correct. But I'm gonna show you how you keep the Sabbath. How do we do this? Read. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 33 and verse 7. Why do at one day excel another? When as all light of every day in the year is of the sun. So all the days give sunlight, right? It said, but why does one day excel another? Why is one day greater than the other day? Read. By the knowledge of the Lord, there are there were distinguished, and he and he altered season and feast. So God distinguished the days that he wanted to be worshipped on. Read. Some of them had he made high days and hollows them, and some of them, and he made ordinary days. So there are high days, and there are ordinary days. Sunday is an ordinary day. From Friday night to Saturday night is a high holy day. That's what God, he set that in order from the beginning. All right, so give me Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Because within the Ten Commandments, one of those commandments talks about the Sabbath day. But we are not we are not taught how to keep it according to the Bible. Read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So what's your name, sis? Misha. Misha. Why does God say remember to keep the Sabbath day? He said remember, because when you tell somebody remember something, they usually yeah. about to forget. Don't you want you to forget? Exactly. You don't want them to forget. So he's like, remember this day. This day is important. This is the day that I set aside that I want you to worship me on. Read. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt do, thou shalt not do any work. So within keeping it holy, he commands us not to do any work. That day we are supposed to not work for hire at all. That's the Lord's day. So give me no cooking. So we're not supposed to work, that's first of all. And he also told us to remember it. He said it's a high holy day to God. That is the covenant that he made with us. Did he make it with everybody? That's a, that's a, that's a good question. Did he, what does that read? Why is that a covenant? Who is that a covenant between? Us and God. Who? Who was us? Give me extra chapter. All mankind? Right. So no, that's, that's not true. No. It's nothing we didn't know. So give me extra chapter 31, verse 6, 8. Because out of the Bible, he did not make this covenant with everybody. God told a particular group of people what it was for. It's a special reason why we do it. Read. This is the book of, this is the book of Exodus, chapter 31, and verse 16. Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, Observe the Sabbath throughout their generation. So it says the children of Israel shall which keep the Sabbath. Us. Right, which is us. With the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. For a perpetual covenant, it is a sign between me and the children of Israel. A perpetual covenant. Between who? Between me and the children of Israel forever. God made this day for a professional covenant between us and him. This is what we are commanded to do. This is how we show that, that we believe God. This is how we show that we love God. We have to keep his day. 
This is the day that he commanded from the beginning of time when he created the earth. This was the first day he set aside. Out of respect for him. Out of respect for him, exactly. All right, so go back to Exodus 20. No, no. Go to Exodus uh, 16. So we're about to show you another law within keeping it holy. Because there's other rules in order to keep the Sabbath day holy, which we were not taught. You got it? This is the book of Exodus chapter 16 and verse 23. And he said unto them, this is, this is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So he says, tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. Tomorrow begins the Sabbath. So what day is this on? Sunday. No. No. Because the last day of the week is what? When is the Sabbath? We already established. Saturday. Right. The last week will be Friday. Exactly. So Friday night, going before Friday night hit, God gave this commandment right here. Read. Unto the Lord, bake that which ye will bake today, and see it, that, that ye will see it, and that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. All right, read that again. Verse 23, and he said unto them, This is that which the Lord has said, Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Bake that which ye will bake. So it says, bake what you're going to bake. So cook what you're going to cook today. Read. And see it, that ye will see it. So it says, see it. Another word for see it means boil. So boil what you want to make today. Read. And that which remaineth over laid up you to be kept until the morning. It says, and what's laid over, keep it to the morning. Eat that in the morning. But don't cook. You can't cook on my day. You cannot cook on my day at all. So what we do is we eat salads. We can make you make sandwiches. You could uh, even if you want chicken, you have to eat the chicken cold. So it'd be no heating up of anything or, or using no fire. So this is part of keeping it holy because it does a spirit in fire as well. So he says. I don't want you to do this on this day. That's, so that's two things. Give me no buying or selling. Nehemiah 10 31. So we already discussed no working, no cooking. But well, this is part of keeping it holy. This is how we show respect unto God. You got it? Read. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. Hey, let me show you this, sis. Let me show you this uh, scripture out the Bible. Read. And if the people of the land bring way of any victuals, on the Sabbath day to sell, that we will not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. So it says we are commanded by God not to buy on the Sabbath or the holy day. So today is God's high holy day. This whole city is supposed to be shut down, according yeah. to God. But every, when do everybody do they most of their buying and selling? On the weekend. On the weekend. On what day though? Saturday. Saturday, yeah. Saturday everybody go out and do their shopping. Do all they working? Do everything on this day. They have they have cast they have cast God's days aside and made it Sunday. That's what that's going into. Who made it Sunday? Who who made it Sunday, Misha? The white man. The white man. That's who made it Sunday. As usual. As usual. He changed all of our laws and said he going and, and saying that we gotta go through him to get the kingdom of heaven. Pretty much. So this is how we do it. So, but you know, now you're one step closer because now you have the knowledge of how to keep God's laws. Give me Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 2. So we discussed it already, right? No, no working, no cooking, no buying and selling. So we can, these are the ways that you keep the Sabbath from Friday night to Saturday night. How you show that you love God. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, Concerning the feast of the Lord which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation, even these are my feasts. Six, six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest and convocation. Ye shall do no work therein. Someone says the Sabbath of rest. A holy convocation. You know what a holy convocation is? It's a holy gathering. So the Christian church shows us to go on Sunday 
when it says the Sabbath is the day it's supposed to be the holy gathering. So these are the four ways that you keep it. You, you remember them all? What are they, Miss Young? No cooking. No cooking. No working. No working. No buying. Uh, grass. Ah, oh, forget it, forget it. No cooking, no buying. Uh, what about no working? Yeah, no working. No working? All right, there's one more. Uh, one more that we discussed. Uh, man, I'm scared to say quick, no sorry. It's a, we, the last one we just said, you remember? We must keep holy. Oh, gather. We must gather together. Right, right, we must yeah. gather together. So that's another. These are the four ways you do it. This is how God wants us to worship Him. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Tyson. Oh, you know what?